Hey there besties, welcome back to the channel. My name is Gigi and um, I just wanted to have a little chat. I have not watched a movie today. I'm sure I will later. Um, I did just watch the Shmoe Down and it was okay. It was not the match I was hoping for, but it was okay. I mean, I always enjoyed the Shmoe Down, but it wasn't a big match. We just had a freaking tournament and I should have paid for it so I could watch it, but I didn't. And now I'm suffering because I want those matches to pop up and they haven't. Come on, Harloff, get that shit up for me. So, um, I just wanted to hit on a couple of quick things. I really haven't even totally looked through the news yet because, yeah. But, um, hold on, hold on one second, hold on. Sorry. I just wanted the fan to be touching me. I was feeling a little warm. It's like 75 degrees today, which is not hot, but I had a hysterectomy when I was 27, and so my endocrine system is not fully functional. I'm not sure if that's the way you would put it, but I do not regulate my temperature as well as most folks do. And it's more to me than just, like this has been going on, for almost 30 years. Um, that's not what this video is supposed to be about. But um, honestly, I just, I get warm. And it's not like regular menopause where when it's over, it's over and you move on with your life. This is my life. I'm just hot a lot. A lot of the time I'm hot. That's all. Um, so the stuff I was going to chat about today is pretty... Just, you know what, things that made me go, what the fuck, today. So, the first one is just stupid. I saw a recipe or a post on Twitter. I think most of the, most of the stuff I got today was from Twitter. There's only three things. Um, I'm sure there are a bit, oh, wait, there is something else. I'll, I will find it. I'm sorry. Um, there, there was this recipe, <laughs> there was a post on Twitter for a recipe for two ingredient chocolate mousse. And chocolate mousse is, first of all, not a difficult recipe to make. Let me just throw that right out there. You whip that up quick. It's not even hard. It's not like it's a souffle or something. Okay. <clears throat> which I have honestly not tried to make. I cannot attest to the difficulty or not of a souffle. Having heard stories, it seems difficult. I don't have those little ramekins either, so. So I click on it because I'm like, well, this is interesting. I, who doesn't love chocolate mousse? And it's like, oh, it's the only dessert you're ever going to need. <sighs> it was a recipe for chocolate ganache. It was cream and chocolate mixed together. That's ganache, AKA truffle filling, AKA frosting. That's not chocolate mousse. And you call yourself a respite recipe website? I think the website was kitchen. It just had me definitely flipping the bird at that. I was like, no, that's not a recipe. It's like, I don't really watch these channels, but I watch the chick who disputes the, or busts the recipes um, on how, how do you cook that. Um, I'm not subscribed to her, but her stuff just shows up on my page and I watch it. <clears throat> and she, uh, that kind of recipe reminds me of the crap that she busts. If you want to make chocolate mousse, find a chocolate mousse recipe and make it. Or just make some freaking pudding. It's almost the same thing. And not, not instant pudding. Cook pudding is so much better. And it's so easy to make. You've probably got the stuff in your kitchen right now. Just make pudding. And if you want chocolate ganache, make chocolate ganache. But make some candies out of it. Don't just eat it with a spoon. I'm sorry, it just, it cracked me up. But with that chocolate ganache, you could totally just like 
refrigerate it, scoop it, set it on the thing, freeze it, dip it in chocolate, you have truffles. You can do any flavor you like. They're delicious. Okay, so um, one little story that irritated me. Okay, they all irritated me. Let's keep it real. It's This is a, these things really aren't going to matter rant, except for this one thing. So, uh, I think it was AMI is a news outlet, like that owns a bunch of stuff. Um, I, I watched this on John Iderola's channel, um, The Damage Report, and there were, during his election and shortly after, um, 60 stories of many of them of illegal activities that were suppressed about Trump. What? Okay. 60 is a lot. Six would be a lot. 60 is what? Um, here's my thoughts on that. If you want to be a journalist, I think there should be rules about that the same way that there are about being a doctor because being a journalist, actually, that shit matters. People read you, you influence people's thoughts. And there should be a penalty for lying or not disclosing the truth. Because there'd be a lot less Barbie doll, Ken doll, looking ass motherfuckers reading the news who do not fucking know what they're talking about or are bald face lying to you. I am so fed up with media. And here's the thing, even, excuse me, even so-called like, what do they call non-mainstream media? Um, like the Young Turks and the Damage Report and, um, God, there's so many, there's so many. I can't even think of them all. They, it's not like they use different tactics. They make, they overblow things that are nothing. They minimize things that they don't want you to think are big deals. And that's not the truth. I want, when I listen to somebody who tells me that they are going to tell me the news, I only want to hear all of it. And I only want to hear the truth. That's it. I don't want your spin. I don't give a fuck about your opinion. I want the truth and I want accuracy and I want the whole story covered, even the parts you don't like. Like this shit with Bernie's heart attack. Okay, it was a heart attack, people. I'm not saying that disqualifies him from being president. He's still my dude, but you cannot minimize that. He needs to take care of himself. And one side is blowing it out of proportion and the other side is sweeping it under the rug. There's a middle ground. It's called the fucking truth. Try to stay in it. And there should be guide, no rules, laws that they have to follow. And if they do not, they cannot be journalists. If you want to be a commentator, that's a whole different thing. But even at the Young Turks, they have journalists working for them. So you cannot just call yourself commentators anymore. I'm not even going to get started on Jen Uger because it's a whole video of itself. And I've spoken about my thoughts on him before. Now, the last thing I'm going to talk about today, we're going to try to keep it short, even though we're already at nine minutes. Um, this non-story today about the runtime of Star Wars that's coming out, it's like, three minutes longer than the, than the longest film. And everyone's like, oh, Star Wars, it's the longest one yet. Yeah, I bet it's all credits too, boo. A lot of people worked on that shit. I'm so tired of overblown bullshit. I already know Star Wars is coming out. I don't need you to fucking tell me that the 158 runtime is longer than 155. 
Yeah, I get that. It's three minutes. How is that news? I swear to God, the wine that I just gave really drove me insane. Okay. Oh, you know what? I want to give you guys an update if anyone is here. Um, I think I mentioned uh, like a week ago, maybe a little longer ago, when I was picking up the table that I used to block Jake into the yard, um, this popped. And I've been having a lot of trouble with it since the fall. If you're a friend of the channel, you know that. If not, a few months ago I fell down. And it was like in the middle of summer, so maybe just like two months ago. Um, I fell down and I hit my, I hurt my hand really bad. And it has affected my yoga in a serious way because I cannot, I have not been able to put pressure on it. But last week, like maybe 10 days ago, I picked up the table and I felt this pop. And it felt sickening and good at the same time. You know what I mean? Like, oh, wow, that was great. Okay. So, <laughs> and ever since then, it's started to feel better and better. And I did four vinyasas today before it started to say to me, I'm a little sore. Maybe you should stop. I have not done four vinyasas in weeks. I would do one and my hand would be throbbing. So, I think that it was out of joint. I think maybe not all the way, but just a little out of joint. I am double jointed, right? So I think it was just sitting incorrectly and it popped back into place and it's okay now. Ah! I feel like maybe I should have gone to the doctor weeks ago and maybe we would have found that out. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Yoga, 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 yoga. You know what? I think that next year for my goal, now I can spend the next two months just getting back in shape because my upper body strength is like non-existent right now. So I think what I really want to do is spend the next two months just getting back into shape and next year challenge myself with inversions. I'm really scared about that. They, they terrify me. But I have walls. I'll get some, a, a pillow for my head and we were, we we're going to try because I need to push myself to another level. I really do. Okay, guys, um, we're out. I am going to go and practice baby boomers with gel. And um, that's going to be up on the other channel. So be sure to get over there. And um, I'm also going to watch a movie. So I will talk to you again later today. Maybe two movies? Maybe three movies? I don't know. All I'm going to do is nails and movies for the rest of the day and a walk for this dog. And we will see you in the next video. Mwah.